Finally, after two years, I got the colony I've always been dreaming about. That's right, Myrmica Rura. I've always wanted Myrmica because I can have more than one queen. To me, this was very interesting and I really wanted them. But I had trouble finding them online. And if I did, the prices for multiple queen colonies were insane. Yes, I could dig them up, but that's not something I want to endorse here on the channel. So I bought them. The first ants I ordered all died because shipping took over a month. But Louis was kind enough to send me new colony plus an extra queen. On to the unboxing then. This colony was wrapped in tissue paper. The test tube itself was also wrapped in tissue paper. This doesn't really provide any protection to the tube and is hard to peel off. I really struggled and needed to scrape it off. But the colony was healthy and most importantly alive. Look at them, I'm so excited to finally own this colony. The colony was very active and there were no dead workers. Sadly this colony could not be transported with brood, so they had none but a few freshly laid eggs. This is good news, since not all Myrmica queens lay eggs. Some just work as normal workers. It could be that only 3 of the 5 queens I have lay eggs, we'll never know. Another thing that surprised me was the size of the ants. I always thought Myrmica rubra was a lot smaller. Turns out they are quite large. Larger than Lazis Niger, which makes this an even cooler colony. So the plan I have with this colony is to grow them into the thousands and then move them into a natural setup. Because Myrmica rubra can inbreed or wild queens can be added, they should last in a natural setup for quite some time. If the setup survives though, the test tube the ants came in wasn't ideal. It was a really tiny tube and it had almost no water. I scratched my head several times thinking about moving them into a new mesh nest. The rule about founding ant colonies is to keep them in a test tube for as long as possible, so that's what I did. Because my Fedoli moved to a new nest, I had a small Wakushi outworld available. To me, it seemed to be a good idea to move the ants into a new test tube, with ring shirt of course, and let them grow in numbers. And that's exactly what I did. I connected a new tube to the Wakushi outworld using a test tube connection port. Then I placed the test tube into the outworld. This was honestly easier said than done. I needed to angle the test tube perfectly to make it fit in. This whilst keeping cool and not stressing too much about escapees. The ants were now free to roam and so they did. They were very interested in the outworld and explored it quite a bit. Because they were probably hungry, I fed them plenty of sugar water. This was so cool to watch and I managed to capture some nice shots of the ants that you can watch at the end of this video. Even the queen came out to drink from the feeding dish. Alright, one week later it was quiet in the outworld. If you look closely, you can see that the ants have moved. I bet you want to know where. Let me show you the colony in their new test tube. Look at this beautiful colony. I love the species and they are so interesting. They've laid some more eggs but all very fresh. It will take some time before new workers arrive, but when they do, this colony can start to bloom in numbers. Thanks to the ring set, the test tube size increases and I can probably keep the colony in this tube until they hit 150 workers or so. After that I can move them into my mesh nest. For a species like this, 100 to 150 workers is ideal for my small nest. Sounds like a lot right? I know, but again, it's better to keep ants in a test tube for as long as possible. 
There was only one more thing I wanted to do, and that is cleaning the outworld. I first filled up this old Wakushi liquid feeder with green sugar water. Then I took everything out of the outworld and placed it in the feeder with my own feeder. Myrmica dries out very fast, so you always have to provide them with an external water source. And that's it for this video. I'm very excited for this colony and how it will progress over the next few years. Hopefully I can move them into a new nest soon so I can fully enjoy the delight of this species. And once this channel is a lot further, move them into the most epic ant tank you'll ever see. Enjoy some final shots of the ants and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.